Hi, I'm Liz Waid. Welcome to today's Spotlight on Global Life, where we explore issues of faith and culture. Today, we share part of the Spotlight program, Dangerous Books. Ryan Geertzma and Marina Santi look at banning books. They ask if it is ever good to ban a book. In June of 2011, Megan Cox Gurdon wrote a story for the Wall Street Journal news organization. Gurdon believes that young adult English literature is getting darker. She believes that it is often too serious or intense for young adults. In the story, she wrote, An unknowing young reader, or one who seeks out evil, will find himself surrounded by images, not of joy or beauty. Instead, he finds damage, violence, and loss of the worst kinds. Writer Libby Bray does not agree. After reading Gurdon's story, she wrote this on the internet service Twitter. Books are dangerous. Yes, dangerous. They test our ideas and our blindness. They open us to new ideas, new ways of seeing. They make us hurt in all the right ways. They can push down barriers. And when a person feels alone, books can heal and connect. That is what good books do. That is what difficult books do. And we need them in the world. Can a book about hurtful things still be good? Is it ever good to ban a book? What about when the reader is young? To hear the full program, visit our website at www.radioenglish.net.